It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March. So yeah, this is for March. It's being recorded in February, but it's for March. We're just going to see what comes up when we have a Virgo. And right after this, well, in a couple hours, because i got to cook dinner, and i got to do the dishes in, the, you know, in a couple hours, I'm going to do the uh, six months from now. Okay, so six months from now, I'm just going to do a reading, and it's random, right? It's just a random reading. Where where will you be in six months? You know, it's kind of like just for fun, you know. Who knows? Things change in the next six months, right? So much could change, but just for fun, where will you be in six months? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So that's going to be next. It will be done tonight, but a little bit later. But right now, Virgo for March 2020. I already did it for a few of the signs and I'm gonna do them all so for you cross watchers just be patient what do we have for Virgo something you know I just see a rainbow which that means the difficulty is over it's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow yeah it's been stormy you know it may have been raining right I mean it's been rough but the storm is over here comes something beautiful Ooh, is it an emperor? Uh, now the emperor. The emperor is about structure. This is somebody who's very organized, very protective, very dominant, very uh, wise. The emperor is a masculine that uses his head. Um, can seem a little rigid, can seem a little distant, but this person is very stable. This person is a boss. This person is a manager. He makes decisions. He's smart. Um, he can seem a little tough on the exterior. He does. He is tough. He's tough. But he has learned that he's had to be tough. So you could be dealing with an Aries. It doesn't have to be. This could be a Capricorn. It could be a Taurus. It could be any masculine. Okay? Any sign. This is somebody that um, looks like this guy has some bulk to him. Right? He's bulky. He's stocky. He has some meat on his bones. That's what, the, to this, to me, that's what this looks like may have a beard or something like that goatee but even though there's nothing here it's underneath I guess you'd call that a beard anyhow this person um, looks like he <laughs> look at the look on his face this person is is making his mind is made up he's, he's, he's got his mind made up he knows what he wants okay so this person has made up his mind it looks like he there's no changing his mind as well. This this guy's mind is made up. So you're dealing with this person. Um and I'm not sure not sure uh, what sign it is. It could be any sign, but whatever's going on does have to do with a transformation. This would be your death card. Something could happen around the 13th and I don't know if is 13th of February, the 13th of March, but for some reason I don't usually say it when I see this card because I know that I know that's the number on the death card. But I just said that, so I have to go with whatever comes out of my mouth. So anyway, this is something about a change, a major life change when you get the death card. This is a transition, okay? This is a new beginning. Death is a new beginning, okay? It's profound change, okay? There's a renewal or something or a rebirth. There could be a separation or a loss that leads you to... A new beginning okay it leads you into a transformation it changes your life put it that way so this could also be a judge okay so I'm not sure who you're dealing with but this could this <laughs> so we need to get a bunch more cards this has to do with a man or a masculine that has made a decision and he's not changing his mind period Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. And the number 33, your prayers have been heard. Something is going to happen, Virgo. 
and now I see 444. There's angels around. I just saw 44 on 444 on the camera, okay? So there's angels around you. There's some sort of universal help, okay? That they've heard your prayers and they're answering your prayers. Appreciate this moment. You are going to be put into a situation that gives you an opportunity to grow and find love. Okay? That's what's happening here. You're going to be put in a situation that helps you grow and find love. And it, and somebody is, I think this person is somehow part of it. Okay? Which is interesting. Could be dealing with a father. Could be dealing with a husband. Could be dealing with a boss. Could be dealing with anybody. Could be somebody you don't even know. Okay? Um, but there is a decision that is being made. That is going to bring you some sort of opportunity for growth by the looks of things. I'm sorry, I just sneezed. What do we have for Virgo for March? The Knight of Cups, an offer of love, Virgo. <laughs> this is an offer of love, and, and that's pretty good, huh? You're going to be getting an offer of love. Somebody is, you may have an admirer, put it that way. Or you may be offering love. It doesn't, I don't know. This is a masculine. This masculine is a masculine. This ain't no feminine. I don't care what any of you say. This is a masculine. But this is an offer of love. Emotional support. Somebody coming. This person looks like they are kind of in a hurry too. Coming to the rescue. This is somebody, and that's what I just heard, coming to the rescue. Somebody that is very compassionate and is looking for a relationship or relationship growth. There's some sort of relationship growth that is about to happen. Four of Swords reversed. So, Four of Swords reversed. Extremely exhausted. Somebody has been feeling cold. Maybe feeling left out in the cold and they're sick of it. Now this is like a, a death, a stone cold. That's what I see here, stone cold. Feeling isolated. I think it's coming out of isolation. It is, four of wands. Somebody's coming out of isolation. And it looks like they're getting right into some sort of commitment. <laughs> four of wands. You could be going to some sort of celebration and this could be an anniversary. It could be a marriage, you know, a wedding. It could be a party of some sort where there's some sort of gathering. You know, it's like there's some sort of gathering. People are getting together. There's a get together of some sort. And there's, and there's some sort of admirer there. There's some sort of romantic interest. You don't even see this person. This person is off to the side. Okay, this person is off to the side and they see you. They see you. That's what I see. If you, especially if you are the feminine. Mm -hmm. This is like a commitment. There could be be a relationship that is stepping it up to the next level as well. Somebody could be, you know, you know, step. That's what it is. Whether you are single, if you're single, you're not going to be single for much longer. If you are in a coupled relationship, it could be stepping. If you know, if you've just met somebody, you've just, just started on a relationship, it could be. Uh, Moving it up to the next level. Ace of Wands reversed. Four of Pentacles reversed. Look at that. Four, four, four. We talked about that. There's some sort of protection here. There's some sort of guidance. Angel protection, universal protection. Something didn't materialize with the Ace of Wands reversed. Something did not grow. A relationship didn't grow or it didn't materialize or it had went south. Somebody didn't open up or they didn't reciprocate or they were greedy or they were selfish. But the Four of Pentacles reversed is beginning to open up, getting getting interested, letting go, letting go of the past. Four of Pentacles, letting go, letting go of fear and opening up. Somebody is going to be opening up.
There's a lot of fours here. Okay, there is. We got a four right here too. So something to do with the number four. I don't know. Four is your lucky number and you've been asking for something because this is your prayers have been heard. Somebody is getting their prayers answered. There is definitely some guidance here. Fours are angel guidance or universal protection or something like that. So we definitely have a lot of fours. It's like they protected you from something. They may have protected you from the wrong relationship. That's why that didn't grow. Now they're bringing you something more stable. You may have been dealing with somebody that was very greedy, very selfish, that couldn't see your value, couldn't see your worth. This person was stone cold. Now they're bringing you a, a relationship. They're bringing you something. If you're, There's a relationship here that is, is about to grow. It is. It, it, but there hasn't been any growth, but it's about to grow. Or something. There's a lack of growth here. I think so. We have somebody here that has made their choice. They have that, seriously. Somebody has made their choice. The sun reversed. Next to the ace of wands reversed. Definitely no growth. Something did not grow. It did it. With the sun reversed and the ace of wands reversed, there, there there's a um, unhealthy unhealthy situation I don't know if there's a broken marriage here a broken relationship that fell apart it fell apart for a reason it died for a reason because this is died it really is there's a there's and you know because there's there's something better every each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. It's like through death comes a new opportunity. Remember, we saw that transformation card. Through death, there is a new opportunity. There's a new beginning. Virgo, you have a new beginning, but it comes after a death. It comes after a death of something. Something ends, or it has ended, but it's bringing you a new opportunity. That did not grow for a reason. That did not grow for a re reason. Now you are about to come together with somebody that is probably a soulmate. What the hell is this? Yes. Six of Pentacles. This is receiving something. You are about to receive something that you deserve. It's time. It's time. It's time for you to receive happiness and contentment. Queen of Pentacles. You are. Look at that. Look at that. It's like, I don't know if there's a father involved here. Maybe it's a father that has passed or a male figure that has passed and could not, might not be. The fours are, you know, protection from the other side. But look at, it's like, this is a little girl and now we have an adult. So, I don't know. You are about to receive something. It's like you're going to be given a golden opportunity. You are. Even if you are the masculine, somebody has, has made a decision that they see something of value and they are going to get it. And that is no joke. And they're going to give. They're going to give. They're going to give gener generously to this person of value. <coughs> Excuse me. It's almost like that, too. It's almost like I, gotta, I feel choked up now, like I can't talk. That's weird, huh? Huh. This one doesn't even see it coming. She doesn't even see it coming. It feels like it's somebody that you knew. Somebody that you knew when you were a child, maybe? There could be somebody coming in that you m meet at some sort of reunion or... Who knows what it is that you knew when you were a child or when you knew when you were younger. I don't even know where that's coming from. But I feel like that, that I needed to say it. Um, this person right here is, is, is a person of value. And may have been in a period of stagnation, waiting, waiting to receive. Maybe feeling like they were never going to receive it. This is never going to happen. 
here it is here's your here it is here it is here it is something is coming virgo and it is somebody that is wanting a relationship and they are wanting relationship growth you take a look where that's looking we have a, a masculine that has made a decision and, and you know we could have two masculines here I, it, we definitely have a masculine that has made a decision we have something that didn't grow and maybe this is the stubborn the guy looks pretty stubborn he's made his decision he's made his decision to not let something grow to let something die we saw that death card which allows a new beginning it allows a new beginning for you okay when one thing ends another thing begins so through death we have a new beginning here so we have a new beginning i mean that's what we got here um eight of pentacles reversed three of swords leaving the past pain and the past hurts behind and we do have a death we do It's reverse. It's leaving it behind, leaving that past thing that didn't grow behind, not giving it any more energy, not putting in any more effort, letting it die. So I think that, what is it? I don't know what the saying is. Let the, let whatever is die, die, but it's a different word. Um, let the dead, I don't know what it is. Um, anyways, leaving the past hurts behind. It's healing. I think that they're bringing somebody in. That is going to help you to heal. That is helping you to heal. And this person is going to put in effort. There was a reason. There was a reason why that other thing didn't grow. And this is it. This is the reason. Nine of Wands. Oh my goodness gracious. Scared. Fearful. The Nine of Wands, this is, this is uh, somebody that is, uh, well, take a look at that. That's a weird, <laughs> up against the challenge. This is a challenge. It definitely is. It's a challenge. She is a challenge. She's challenged. She's fearful. Fearful of getting hurt. Really? It's like now we have this person that is a, is going to receive something. She knows her value. She's worked hard to obtain stability and security. Very grounded. Very protected though. Protected. This person is protecting herself. But receiving an offer, definitely receiving something. It's like the getting, it might even be getting a proposal or something like that, but it's a challenge. It's like this person may play hard to get. Mm -hmm. That's probably what it is. It looks like we have somebody here that, that is going to play hard to get. Death! Yes, I know. They, through death, there is a new beginning. And I don't know. The 13 is very prominent. I do not know why, but it's really a needed. The 13. Something about 13. What I have, maybe you were 13 when you met this person. Or the 13th is prominent. Or 13 years. 13 is somehow part of this equation. Okay? Part of this reading. There is a new beginning here. There is a reason why something did not work out. There is a reason why something didn't last. Because they have something better for you. <laughs> Look at the heads. Look at all those heads. There's a reason why those didn't work out. You have now risen. You have now risen from that. Or you are about to rise from that. Get ready. Get ready for an offer because you've got an offer coming in, Virgo. There's a relationship that is stepping it up to the next level. If you are single, be prepared to meet somebody or to run into somebody at some sort of get-together. You may have known this person before. This person, it's like this person gets their eye on you and they decide instantly that you are it. That they want you and they approach you and they take action.
Get prepared. This person is going to help you to heal. They are going to help you to heal from the one, the, the situation that died. This person is a romantic and they are they're ready for a relationship. And once they see you, it's like they know. They know. There is definitely going to be an offer of love. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Through death of a situation, love is about to blossom. And that is what I got. Good luck. It's the answer to your prayers.